their thoughts are on Andrew Tate, and we'll be on the search for Fat G. Well, I'm sure Bro, you guys. Why? 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 Asking people why again this what their one? thoughts are on Andrew why? Tate, why? and we'll be on the search. Why this one? Uh, I, can y'all see? Can y'all see? Why this one? Out of all. Uh... Yo, today we are. Yo, today we are reacting to public interview by Sony. Fe, so, Sony, Sony. Uh, Fez. Fat G destroys feminism. Again, what their thoughts are on Andrew Tate, and we'll be on the search for Fat G. Well, I'm yeah. sure you guys have heard, but Andrew Tate got freed from prison the other day. So, what are your thoughts? I hate him. Why don't you like him? I don't agree with. Well, I agree with some of the things he says. What do you agree with? Um, I actually don't remember at the moment, but I don't know. I mean, I've seen, the majority that I've seen about him is bad, so like, I don't okay. really have a lot of context. Like remember what? Is there any of the stuff that you didn't like about him or not really? Uh, very, like, misogynistic opinions, but I don't remember exactly. His fake social media accounts have been posting some really interesting things lately, but other than that, no comment. Like what? what? What kind of stuff? Just him pacing around his room, that video in particular. Again, just interesting. Would you like a man like Top G? I mean, I wouldn't. I'm right, I'm right here. I wouldn't date him or be anywhere near him. Why? Right, to each their own. Do you have yeah. any thoughts on him or no? Oh, no Immediately, no. No, no. no it's, a, it's a quick no. It's a huge oh, red flag. Why not? Why don't you like him? It's a, it's a big red flag. Why? Are there any reasons why you don't like him that you can name? He just comes off as very self-centered and pompous. And again, having fake social media and claiming that you're not on social media, but you're clearly directing the content that's coming out about you. Like, I don't know. Like, oh, well, oh, he, he, he bit, well, 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 he can't be on social media. He is banned from um, IG. So if he doesn't have a social media, then where is that video? Why did he take a video of him pacing around his room? What was the point of that? Where is that going? You're telling me that he didn't tell somebody to post that video? What? Andrew Tate. Who's this? You know, like the bald, the bald guy. Bro, 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 He has a Twitter. Dummies. Hi. Oh, these guys. Yeah, he has a Twitter. Them. Okay, uh, no, I am. I don't know. It's the first time when I see this guy. I have another question though. What do you think on feminism? I don't support feminism. What? Why not? Because I think for a woman, it's very important to be with a man. First of all, human is human. And second, I was born and raised in a country where women love men. And we respect them and we want yeah. to make their life happier, easier. And we love that, you know, like we love this feeling to make our men happy. And here's a big difference between European or Muslim. I'm totally fine with that cultures, but I don't know. Why do you think the women here are so brainwashed and they're, they don't think like that anymore? American ones? Yeah. I you see, you see, you see, that's why I am leaving. Once I got the breach, I'm out of here. Once I got the breach, I'm out of here. I think because they're like too strong and to be honest i really think that american guys are kind of scared of them i don't know why because they're too much independent like i can open a door i can do this and i'm like okay baby you can you know they're a big fan, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of why don't you like them? because i don't like what he says about women and about how women? He, and how, how he tra treats women so like what specifically that you didn't agree with? Everything in general. He's just like. Do you think like your man should protect and provide for you? No. You don't think so? No. What do you think is your man's role in the relationship? I think a woman, a woman should be independent, and a woman is there for herself, and the man should be should respect her and be there for the, her, uh, support her, but not in a way that she he has to earn the money and she's there to cook so a woman can everything do on her so you want you want to work your whole life yeah she can do everything on her own and a man should support her, her in if your man made so why would i date you buddy buddy there is no point then if we're equal i made a priest you make a breeze a lot more money in you and could support you would you want that or no and he was like you guys were totally in love or that's not ideal for you you want to work yeah 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. A lot of guys have a feeling inside of them that it's your job to protect and provide yeah, for the girl. Yeah. It's just like what's born inside of guys, to be honest. It's like the fire inside yeah, of you. But does it have to be like this, like forever? Like a man, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't have to be like this. Like everyone. Your grandpa did it, so you call it. That's what I'm saying. Like you're, you're calling your grandpa. You're calling your grandpa um, misogynism, whatever that word is. Everyone could be gay. Everyone could be. That's my logic. That's my logic. Cause he's educate is going based off his grandfather, I believe. I believe so. So like. So is your grandfather a um, uh, misogynist? Just stick whatever the fucking word is. Um, is he? You know, sleeping around with everyone, and then we'll see how you know society progresses like that. Because I mean, if everyone was gay, the world would end in 80 years. So there are some standards that you do have to stick by. You know, so we can't just change the way the entire world works. What do you think about Andrew T Andrew Tate, whatever his name? Is? I I really like his message. Yeah. yeah. Americans. Enough of these fucking feminists. I need to find Fat G. Alright, Alex, where do you think he'd be? Where, where would Fat Huh? Americans. Bro, that's what, my, that's what my thing is, bro. Like, are you calling your grandfather a misogynistic? By saying that Andrew T is misogynistic. Because my grandfather. <laughs> My grandfather been around town, and my great grandfather been around town. <laughs> Them boys out there, dude. <laughs> Them boys that down. I heard stories about them. Jesus. So, are you saying that your grandfather is a man? Like, that's why I want. That's why I want people to actually like. Yo, if y'all see this, I, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna see which one is better. But if y'all see this, like, actually, please, please, actually, comment. Do, does your graph if you're from the alphabet uh community, the LRPGDQ plus community, comment, bro. Like, are you really? What does your par What does your grandparents think about you? Like, actually, think about you. Like, not not no sweetheart shit. No, no, no. Tell them, yo, what's your honest opinion? Fat GB right now. He's fat G. What do you think he's doing? He's probably bro. eating. Bro, alright. Bro, we're, we gotta find him, bro. He's definitely eating some fucking food. Alright, come on. We just checked Chipotle, Moxie's. Chipotle, Moxie's? What's Moxie's? Bro, no fucking way. That's him right there, bro. That's Fat G, bro. Look at him. He, he's macking with the girl right now, bro. Bro, Fat G got ultimate riz. That's crazy. Yo, let's go over there. Let's go over there. Bro, Fat G, what are you doing here, bro? Yo, what up? Welcome back, dude. Oh my god, you talking with the girls, bro? Yeah, it's having a conversation. It's actually one of the best pizza places on all of like Florida, bro. We literally said, I was like, where would Fat G be? He's definitely eating some food right now. Food, bro. I just finished. I just had a pie. Bro, have you seen the video since yesterday? Nah, why? What's up? Bro, it's going crazy right now. It's at like 300,000 views. Everyone loves you. No way. I swear to God, bro. But there's only one way that we can actually solidify you as Fat G. And there's only one way that we can actually do that. We're going to the buffet? We're going to the buffet. Dog, I've been waiting to hear that since my dad left, dude. Shit, they were going to the buffet. On me, I got you, bro. Excuse me, do you know where there's a buffet around here? Fuck. I hope I don't have to do a lot of cardio to get there, dog, because that would definitely fuck my mood up. That would be a detriment. Yeah. But we, we've been asking these hoes what they think about, um, we've been, a, we've been asking these nice ladies what they think about Andrew Tate. What, they my man. Haven't been, they haven't been a fan today. Papa Tate. All right. I think we got to, I think we got to transform you into the fat G and then go and ask some more people their thoughts. Let's do it. Whatever it is. I'm down. Oh, shit. <laughs> Be a Bro, five five percent to Fat G. How do you feel? Yo, I'm starting to feel like a a little bit more than a soldier. Y'all guys, remember, be a soldier, and not a folder. Stick to what you believe in, and fuck the world, dude. Fat G, what's, <laughs> what's the, like the biggest sauce you'd give to the young people what, watching what, this? Yeah, yeah, I think sauce? you guys need to realize. Give us the sussies, the sauciest of sauce. Fat G, what's, see. what's some of like the biggest sauce you'd give to the young people watching this? That I think you guys need to realize that the education you're given isn't always true. Right. There's a word called history, and history simply means that it's the victor's story of what happened. So 
I would encourage you guys to truly educate yourself in life. Anything you're ever told in a history book, anything you're ever told, period, can't be always true. And it's up to you to verify the knowledge that you receive to put into your mind. It's your mind. Nobody else's but yours. Verify your information at all times. You know, shaving your head in this, this is only one part of actually becoming Fatchy. We really need to see you have some self-improvement too. What do you think about the people that were saying that you need to hit the gym and lose this weight and shit? Bro, I've been saying I needed to hit the gym. And you know what? It's one of those things where I have to take accountability for me letting myself down my whole life and being a fat fuck. You know? I choose to go the week the gym, route and, the and fucking get fast food all the time instead of... Hit the gym, fat G. You heard? Hit the gym. Hit the gym. Hit the gym. Now. Right now. If you're watching this, hit the gym. Give me 20. Give me 20 right now. Hey, you know what? Everybody that's watching this, give me 20. I'm going to do it with y'all. Hold on. Y'all can't see it, but I'm going to do it with y'all. I sort it out. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. I went from 18 to 20. Hold on, let me do one more then. Let me do one more. I missed one more. Hold on. Figgity. I missed one more. Figgity. Ooh. There you go, man. All right, there you go. Finding a way to cook food and... But, you oh, know, oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm going to give you a little bit of time because I know there's a lot of focus over there. All right, you guys might be like a 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, get back up, you heard? Watch me, you heard? Let's when you live in your car, man, and you're fucking homeless, it's not easy to, to, to make your own food, man. You're very dependent off of, you know, fast food because of the easy commodity that it is, so... I uh I would like to definitely lose weight and aspire to be looking like Top G when he came out of fucking prison, dog. Seven thousand four hundred and seventeen push-ups. I can't even do one, dog. Wait, so how long have you been homeless for, bro? Tell me. Like hey, man, everybody watches. Better have done twenty. You heard? If y'all haven't done twenty, drop down right now and do twenty, bro. Do twenty right now, bro. A little bit more about your shit. You gave me like a little bit of a spew yesterday, but not too much. Yeah, so um, I actually became homeless around like the age of 21. Uh, my mom kind of kicked me out because instead of me being a productive man in the family, you know, I was just fucking leeching, bro. I would literally sit at home all day and go on the computer. And uh, my mom got tired of that, bro. Single mother working a fast food job, ironically. She's got tired of it. So she said, bro, you got a month. If you don't get a job, you're out. So I said, you know what, dude, I'll take that. And when I became homeless, man, my, pr my uh, thought process was I'm gonna buy a flight ticket from Miami to Austin, Texas because my my thought process was simple If I stayed homeless in Miami, I was gonna be a bitch and I was gonna cry to mom and be like mom Please take me in but when I became homeless and I flew to somewhere I didn't know at all it put me on a whole different like path man And I started having to find a place to sleep a place to survive. I had to start making new oh, contacts shit. What would you say is like one of the main reasons that you're still homeless today? I guess because I I, I, I wouldn't say I found comfort in it, but I was very weak-minded where I thought I was invincible against the world, but when reality kind of hit me and it made me realize that, you know, I wasn't the shit like I thought I was, I, I, didn't, I didn't step out of it, dude, when I should have. So, you know, now that I'm 30, man, I've had a whole different state of mind. I've, I've been doing, like, street portraits here in uh, Brickell and networking with people, man, and now my whole goal at 30, bro, is to get off the streets, fix my teeth, fix my body, like, get healthy, 
and and continue to network with people, man. Like, I want to be that fucking guy in Miami that people know everybody. Like, I'm the mayor or some shit. Did Andrew Tate really help change your mind on a lot of this stuff? Yeah, man. I started watching Andrew, bro, and I started to take a lot of self-accountability and realize that I was the fuck up the whole time, and it never was the world, but it was myself. Damn. So for Damn. the longest time, you weren't taking ultimate self-accountability. You were blaming stuff on other people. That was kind of your excuse for where you were in life? Yeah, I wouldn't say the world, but I, was, I wouldn't say the people, but I was blaming the world. But, you know, growing up and realizing how much fatter I got and how much more it was my fault that I was the one putting this food in my fucking mouth. Dude, it wasn't anybody else but myself. How many buffets have you put out of business? Yo, um, to this day, around 64 is my record. 64 buffets put out of business? Yeah, all types of buffets. Japanese, Chinese, uh, anything, dog. People stopped inviting me to family meals, bro, because they were like, bro, we got to fucking cook twice the amount for this guy. Oh, nah. Yo, why are you laughing, bro? I got <laughs> chunks from my own family for eating a lot. Bro, I'm literally shaving your head you got this, with bro. the same razor I shave my balls with, bro. Oh, bro, nah. Listen, man. I've had worse situations. Yo, do you want to see how good I used to look, bro? Handsome G. Totally fucking different guy. And that's the guy I let down, bro. That's the guy I'm going to be again. Yo, guys, give this video 5,000 likes and we'll shave Bang. the cameraman's head, too. Oh my god, I see myself in the reflection, dude. Dude, is it all off? Yeah, bro. Dude! Have you no ever way. been bald? I did one time. I shaved my head like in solidarity with my aunt who had cancer. And But I haven't seen myself like this in a long time. Dude, it's weird. Oh, we gotta oh take god. a- Oh my god! What's up, ladies? How you doing? You wanna have some bingo nights tonight? Si, me cortaron la mesa. Vamos a jugar bingo nosotros tres. Venga, vamos a jugar. I don't think they like the baldness, bro. Yo, you think you're gonna fuck me up here, dude? Nah, bro, I got you right. Don't worry. Yo, somebody's calling me. Yo! Yo, Pearly Things is calling me, dude. Get the fuck out of here. How'd this no happen? No way, bro. Hello? Yeah, it's me, Fat G. What's up? How do you know about me? <laughs> Yo! She saw the video or some shit? Dude, she said she saw the video like 15 minutes ago. I knew she was subscribed. Okay. That's funny. Oh, my answer. Dude, that's fucking crazy. Damn. Yo, Pearly, do you mind if like, we chat for like five minutes? Dude, I'll be right back, dog. All right, bro. I'm going to go talk to go Pearly. Clean up a bit. Huh? Go clean up a little bit. Fuck that. I got Pearly on the phone, dog. <laughs> I guess he's officially Fat G now. You, you just saw Fat G. He told his story. I mean, it really is pretty insane. And I think we all really want to see him have as much success as possible in the future on his self-improvement journey. So I'm going to pop up his Venmo right here. I've already sent him a little bit of money just to help him out. Um, so if you guys want to send him any money at all, I'm sure he would greatly appreciate Major it. Major League I'll make sure to shout out to you guys that actually donate to him. I'll make sure to check in with him and shout some of you out. But... Yeah. He's an Uder. Let's get back to it. Uder, Uder, I'm sure you guys Uder. heard, but Andrew Tate just got released from prison like two days ago. So what are your thoughts? I think we should leave him in prison. Why? He gives sexual predator vibes. Oh, so if fame. someone gives sexual predator vibes, we should just throw them in jail? Kind of. A vibe? Why? What kind of vibe does he give that sexual predator? I mean, he was put in prison for a reason. Well, they just let him out because they didn't have any evidence. They were looking for evidence while he was locked up. Doesn't that just mean he has a good lawyer? No. If no. anything, it's the opposite because he was in there for three months with no evidence. Imagine they just locked you up and for three months they were like, we got to look for something on, what's your name? You don't have to say your name, but that's crazy. Is there anything he said specifically that you didn't like? I mean, the whole, like, sexual workers thing. So, like, only, do you think, like, people that do OnlyFans management should go to jail? No, but that's by choice. So, so were his girls. He, all pay, he paid them all like a percentage. I mean, if you think about it, the Jeffrey Epstein girls were willing to. Well, those were those are underage girls. I don't know. That's that's a little bit I, different. I that's a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a little bit different. But that's a whole other story, Giggy. That's a whole other story. There is no comparing that story to Epstein's other. Island to Tate doing OnlyFans. It's the same thing. But. I'm glad. I'm glad any man got out of jail, man. Big G. No man deserved to be in jail, like, unless he did something crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like, unless he, like, did some, like, pedo shit or did some, like, rape shit or some crazy shit, then that's different. But, like, other than that, man, if you selling weed or you doing some other shit, man, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the laws, they flip-flop, so, you know what I'm saying? Like, Sun I don't is know, like. Out of here. Sun is a cloud nine. Sun is in cloud nine, not seven. Crazy man, then you, you don't belong in there. But like, I ain't gonna lie, I fuck with Andrew Tate and shit, man. I fuck with the message you pushing and shit. So like, you know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad he out. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, what are your you know thoughts? Say? Mine are a little controversial, <laughs> but... You look like you like him. I mean, I agree with some of the things he said, yeah. but I, I definitely know that there's bad things he said as well. What's some of the stuff that you agreed with? Certain things about women. That sounds kind of bad, I know, but, like, he's talked about how men should pay for everything, and I agree. What did you disagree with? I don't know. Maybe, like, I've heard some bad things about him, but I don't know if it's true or not. Like, something about him and, like, sex scandal or something, like... Yeah, that was all just false. What do you think about him? Uh, you look like... You don't look like you like I really know. I'm not very educated on Andrew Tate, but... I don't See, really those are real. With him. Those are I didn't real. even know he was in prison, honestly. Yeah. What stuff do you disagree with that he said? Um, I don't really enjoy the way he talks about women and like I agree with like the paying for stuff, like for the most part, but he's I don't know, I don't think he's a very good influence on our youth. Anything specific other than the paying? No, I just don't really like him. You just don't like him because because he's a man. I let's be honest. Okay. I get that. <laughs> Alright. Man, that's why you don't Yo, like what Top G. G? G. I'm here, bro. I heard you talk about Tate. Man, that's why you don't like Fat G. Oh, sorry, Top G. I got confused with myself. What don't you like about how he speaks about women? This is Fat G, by the way. Hi. Fat G. I'm a local guy out here. I think he's um. I just think he's like got a lot to say, and it's kind of harmful to a lot of young people. Like what? I don't know what he said. That's harmful. I can't like give you like specific uh things. Yeah, off the top of it. Damn. How can you dislike someone and not even know what they they be talking about? Like, what? Like, what? Like, what? Yeah, or I'd get myself in cracks. What if I told you that anything you heard is wrong because he's actually said that women are beautiful creatures and without them, there's no life. That he says we must protect them at all costs and that's actually what Andrew Tate teaches us. He wants us to be more masculine so we could be better uh, husbands, yeah, better men. I like how he describes women the way that he said they should be. Actually, this is gonna sound bad. Well, he's talked about like how he wants a woman that's like feminine and girly, and he wants to be masculine. And honestly, I, I don't, I would never force that on anyone else, but I would like that. Why do you think so many like it's like bad to say that? Like if I say I want a, a feminine girl, I'm looked at like a demon. Why do you think that is? It's personal preference. I, yeah. I think it doesn't matter. That's what I'm saying, I don't care what other people do, but for me, I want to be feminine and girly, and I want a masculine man. Well, perfect for each other. <laughs> you have to support women like that. Understand that there's actually a difference in a role yes. for themselves no, and for ourselves. Right there. Honestly, that's what I. W oh, no, want. Wait. I want old-fashioned. Old like, yeah, facts. You have any crazy old experiences facts. on psychedelics or anything? Yeah, dude. I was recently at a music festival here in Miami during uh, Miami March. That's what I'm uh, saying. Old-fashioned, which relates to your grandfather. So, if you're a feminist or a other people the Q community, what does your grandparents think of you? Oh yeah, I forgot the plus. Other people the plus community, what does your parents think your grandparents actually think of you? Week. And I started talking to like this group of people and I was like, yo, I kinda wish I got some like M Ms right now. I was craving it. Like, yo, we got chocolate. I was like, fuck it, dude. So I took the chocolate and I started fucking realizing I was like tripping like an hour and a half later and I'm fucking dancing because I actually dance, believe it or not. Fat G moves. Bro, I just I just started seeing Fat fucking G like moves. gay guys everywhere, bro. And it oh, was shit. weird. What like fucking fuck? shirtless naked gay well not naked, but like shirtless like, gay like, guys like everywhere. You're, you're, I'm fucking dancing, dude. I'm like fucking having a good time. And then like the DJ hit like a light and I woke like I opened my eyes and I'm like, what the fuck? I'm literally surrounded by like gay guys everywhere in the crowd. I'm like, yo, I gotta get the fuck out of here. So I turn, I started walking, and I fucking another gay guy over there shirtless. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Bro, it got so bad, I started looking through the whole crowd for tits, dude. I'm like, yo, I gotta look at tits, dude. And I Facts. fucking finally found a pair of tits. I'm like, oh, sanity. And then I had to keep making my way through the crowd, dude. <laughs> oh, it was like, sanity. I know it sounds funny, but. <laughs> oh, sanity. Nah, but I feel him though, bro. Imagine you just take a child, have someone, yo, take this child, all right, takes it. You boom, 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 boom. A light shines. Oh, shit. I'm in the other bit of a cute household, Gengi. I'm up and out of here. Dude, it's scary, bro, because when you're tripping and then you start to like just see fucking. gets you. Yeah, bro, yeah. it fucks with your head and I'm tripping hard. <laughs> and I'm like, what the f Nah, bro, that would have been funny, though. On camera, you wake up. Oh, shit. I'm in the LBGQ plus community.
the household. Oh shit, I gotta get up and out of here. Fuck, dude, I had to look for tits anywhere I could find them, Rats. dude, and I fucking just kept scavenging. I'm like, yo, that's checkpoint A, and I'd go to the tits, and I'm like, next pair of tits. Oh, shit, more gay guys, dude, fuck, and I had to get out of there, dog. That shit was trippy as fuck. I see y'all here, you know, you're trying to do your thing. Yes, sir. Um, I want to go ahead and support you. Thank you. And I have a little, I have something left over from the strip club the other day, so. No way. It's all no. yours. Get a haircut. Get a new outfit. Get the fuck out of here, dude. You're good. Bro, I did a good job with this hair. Bro, can I give you a hug, bro? American income. Good, bro. Uh, bro, get a yo. New, get a new outfit. Get whatever you need. Dude. I want to help you, bro. I like you a lot. Bro, I want to say something, man. Adam Sorry, has man. been one of the coolest fucking guys that I've met out here. And on a genuine note, look, I'm even going to take the glass off for no character. This guy actually fucking spoke to me, dude. He gave me a chance. He gave me his number. We started conversating. This guy actually wanted to help me with my position in life. And, like, I appreciate this, man, for real, because you have no idea. Like, I'm not trying to be, like, oh, sob story. But, dog, I have literally no friends. I'm a lone wolf. So when I come across people who have, like, a high quality caliber to themselves, bro, I want to have those people in my life. And, like, Adam's literally... Man, I'm, a, I, I, I'm in a pack of two, man. I'm in a pack. Actually, yeah. One, two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five with me. Pack of five is a high, you know? It's one of those people, dog, that I want to help them out to the best money, of my abilities, want, want, no matter what. I want some followers, you heard? What it is, bro. And I'm honored, bro, that I really have met you. And, and meeting you, bro, is a true blessing, bro. And I hope in the future I can help you reach lengths way above the skies, bro. Thank you, man. Look, I said to myself I'd rather give it to you than throw it on strippers. So Thank yeah, you, bro. You got it. Double it and give it to somebody else. Yeah. How am I going to double it? Ha <laughs> NPC! NPC interferes. Call this an NPC interferes. Um, I don't know. Put it in your butt. I'm going to put it in my... Get ready, dude. Okay, what do I need to do? Well, you want to answer a question for an interview? Sure. Have you heard of Andrew Tate before? Yeah. What, what do you, What are your thoughts on Andrew Tate getting released? Um, from the Russia. Um. I from, think people think he's a little more controversial than he needs to be. Yeah. 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 Understood. Yeah, exactly. What are your thoughts? Yeah, she's drunk out of her mind. Yeah. Do you like his takes and stuff? Yeah. His takes? His takes, like his point of view. Um, I don't know that much. I don't know that I'm much. I'm a Republican. I don't know that much. I don't know that much. But I'm drunk. I don't know that much. But I'm drunk. I don't know that much. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm a Republican. Oh my god. And Very beautiful. Okay. Moderate. Is, See ya. Abortion's great. No, it's not. What? What's wrong with you? No, are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? No, I'm absolutely fucking right. Are you telling me abortion's great? <laughs> oh, shit. Abortion's not right. Abortion's not right. Abortion's not right, bro. You're killing kids. You're a killer. You're a child killer. You're a baby killer. I'm saying... Uh, okay, wait. Let's... That's not wrong. Mind. Can you repeat Let's what you know. said? I didn't mean abortion is great. Okay. But I'm saying... Are you going to tell me that as a woman, that abortion is not my right? How fucking yeah. So as a father, I have no saying what my child should be born or not. It's your choice solely. Yeah, because as a mother, if I don't have the... Keyword, you're only a mother yeah, if you wait, choose wait, to wait, have the wait. child. You're only a mother if you choose to have a child. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Are you, you going to listen? And they say we're privileged. They say we're privileged. Okay. Go I mean, I'll listen to you, but I'm going to let you know right now. I'm not going to be no fucking pussy ass jack. I'll tell you straight you're up. You're not going to listen to me, what I'm telling well, you right now. Give me your counter argument. As a mother, I can make a choice if my kid should be here or not. <laughs> Look down in the back. What? Because if I need to have a child, my kid has a choice to be here or not. And as a Wait, mother. So the kid has a choice to be here or not, but you're taking that kid's choice away by fucking killing him? They, no. You just said that. You literally Damn. just said that. As a mother, I have the right to choose if my kids here or not, but the kid doesn't choose. You're no, 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 I'm we're, speaking. We're having a conversation. <laughs> no, no, we I'm are, speaking. but I'm speaking. <laughs> the ref. <laughs> the ref. That's the ref. That's the lifeguard. He's the ref. He's the ref. He's the ref. Jump in, jump in with his crazy. As a mother, I should have a choice say hey my kid should be here or it should not be here and as a father i also should have a choice in that part that's 
true, but okay. I'm just saying, like, my kid should be here or should not be here. And, and that's I'm, my kid, too, and I would choose if my child should be here or not, because at the end of the day, I'm the one supporting of, that kid. A lot of fathers don't. Well, unfortunately, that's probably you choosing the wrong man. <laughs> at least you found Fetchy. That's true. But anyway, long story short, as a mother, okay. you have a choice to make sure your kid is here or not. Yeah, and so as a father, what I recommend to you is you find yourself a conservative man who knows what he should do and that will step up and actually do what needed to be done as a father to make sure that you and your child, our child, hypothetically, are taken care of and live a prosperous, great life. He is beautiful. He is beautiful. He is beautiful. He is beautiful. That drunken lady is looking out. That drunken lady is beautiful. I don't want to remember something. I'm drunk. I work in the office, but I'm drunk. I have one question. So, like, you mentioned you're conservative, but, like, why is abortion the one thing that you came out and, like, that you wanted to defend? That's a thing. No, I know, but it's just interesting because I feel like a lot of people aren't pro choice, they're pro abortion. Son is just there. Son is just there. He's a life guard. Abortion. Nowadays, so it's kind of it's just kind of interesting. It's pro abortion. No, it's not. A lot of a lot of people are like advocating for abortions and other people okay, getting. I'm really fucking drunk and I cannot give you exactly. my whole fucking real choice right now. Uh, he want he look, 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 look at how that little kid is looking at her. No. Hey, he yeah. want a kiss. Right, here, I'm, gonna, like, I'm gonna hook you away. guys up. No, you guys no, are gonna no. get married. Hard pass from fucking Fat G. I don't want women like that. What the fart is your fucking problem right now? You're fucking delusional. Shout out. Yes, you're delusional. Shout out to delusional women, dog. They're making the world a worse place every day. Excuse me, boss. Do you want to answer a quick question? The NPC. No. <laughs> Do you know who Andrew Tate is? <laughs> oh, okay. Is he okay? How's it going, bro? Bro, bro, bro. I'm gonna go hold. I'm gonna go hold square. I'm gonna go hold square, and he's gonna give me a mission. <laughs> bro. So the reason I know a little bit of Arabic. Bro is I'm still gonna... there. Bro is. <laughs> bro is like, still there. A little bit well versed on like the Islamic faith is because when I was a kid, believe it or not, I'm originally from New Jersey, and uh, I was in third grade when 9/11 happened. After 9/11, bro, I'm not even lying to you. All the Muslim kids disappeared from the fucking schools, bro. Really? Yeah, they stopped coming to school. A bunch of kids that I knew that were Egyptian from a whole different parts, bro, they just disappeared and they never came back because the world has such a hate for his, uh, for Muslim people. It was crazy, bro. But I grew up around a lot of Muslim people. I worked for them and everything. It's crazy because they they really are like some of the nicest people you'll meet. Super, super nice yeah. people, man. I'm talking about like that, so That's a fact, bro. I feel like that's the, that, I, that got to be the one, number one nicest of, uh, uh Religion or race or what? I don't know what's called. Nice. So Lily invite you to your house. Anyone know you? They'll invite you for dinner. Facts. They'll make sure you're okay. Facts. Super nice people, bro. Super nice people. No, and they, they, have they to will check up on you. That's a fact. They will check up on you every day if they have to. If you ask them, like, yo, can you please check up on me? Like, they will do it. Such a bad rep because society and government push it into your mind to make you think that they're the enemies when in reality, America... Can't say that on YouTube, you know. Oh, my. Uh, Why not? What happened? He's like a, he's like a, it's like a henchman. Oh, uh, what are your thoughts on <laughs> feminism? What I tell a lot of things, but the truth, I don't know how, I don't know how to say it in English. Do you speak Spanish? You sound like a. I do. I speak Spanish. Soy, en realidad soy americana, nací acá, pero me crié en Argentina. Lo que pasa es que las la muchachas ven mujeres como Kim Kardashian o mujeres famosas, Cardi B, y entonces dice, oh, yo quiero vivir como ella. Business, they, they, that people has his own business. Yeah, totally. Por lo que digo es que como vivimos una época donde la gente pobre quiere tener la ilusión que son famosos, que uh -huh. son ricos con dinero. Uh -huh. I'm going to tell you one thing. Can you see my... Why he cut it for, bro? I was into the conversation, bro. Nah, sorry, so, yo, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. You race now, play. <laughs> bro, why you cut it though, bro? I was into it, bro. My chest well. This night, smoking this cigar with the fat G effect. Dog, move the mic real quick. Can you see this? Oh, shit. Dude, I'm, I told you, bro, the muscles are starting to get out, dude. He's jiggling. Yeah, bro, shit jiggles, dog. Hey, ask her to go to dance. I bet you all she knows how to dance nowadays twerk. Bro, Fat G, I gotta say something. If you slim some pounds down, like, get get your, get your shit going straight, bro, bitches gonna be all over you, bro. I'm gonna be like, yo, ma, I heard you were looking for a dancer. 
Yes, yes, I am. Be like, yo, you ever seen a man move so swift? She gonna be like, nah. I'll be like, yo, I'm gonna show you real quick. Yo, it's your lucky night, baby. Uh huh. Hey, damn, damn, damn. Ooh, Ooh. baby. Damn. Sorry, I gotta say it. Damn, you got some moves. Oh yeah, dude. You wanna know something funny? I've what? actually been on two Spanish uh, TV shows for my dance film. Bro, can, do you have like the clips? Yeah. Bro, we're popping that up right now. Oh, oh. If nah, we get bro, bro is skinny as fuck, bro. What happened, bro? Nah, bro got a good skinnier dog. Do twenty right now, bro. Do twenty again. Everybody, do twenty again. We we on this. We on this. We on this. Do twenty again. Twenty again. Twenty again. Twenty more. Crush more. Twenty there. Why did we do twenty? We thought twenty at, in the beginning, no? Like right here. We did twenty like right here, right? Like right here. Yeah, this story. His story. Yeah, yeah, right here. We got like. 20 minutes we did we did 20 like 20 minutes ago we shall do 20 again 20 everybody 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 get ready to do 20 everybody 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 hype up hype up everybody 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 hype 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 i'm gonna put my my uh mic on the floor so y'all could uh hear me at least yes sir she's Right there. Um. One, two, three, four. Got yeah, him in the little cracks. I'm team four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16. Oh, damn. 16. 17. 18. 19. Ooh, 19. 20. Oh, shit. That last one was hard to do. This one was hard to do. All right. 25,000 likes on this video. I will literally sign up for a gym membership. I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. I, I want to earn my way through life. You know what I mean? So I'm going to pay for it and I'm going to go to the gym. And that's what I'm going to do. 25,000 likes. I'll sign up for the gym by next year. If I don't lose a pound, you got to pay for the membership, dog. I want to personally thank yeah, everybody who's reached dog. out to me with all the love and the kindness. A lot of a lot of people have actually reached out offering to send me money to help me out. And I want to tell you one thing. Don't send me no money. And this is why. I want you guys to take that money and I want you to go to people in your own community and I want you to build your people up. I'm a random guy out here. I'm going to do whatever I have to do to network and make my way out of this homeless position to where I want to be in life. So let me do that. But you guys who have offered to send me money to help me and all that stuff, listen. We all have a message and a purpose to do, all right? We're in an era in life where unfortunately we have a lot of bad agendas going on and what we need to all do globally is stand up and be the man that we want to be in life. So help your people, take care of people. If you see somebody homeless or somebody you see that's struggling, maybe a friend, a family member, whatever, take care of them. Help your own people out before you help me out, okay? Because that's the only way that's we can get anywhere up. If we can build our own community, we can that's help fact. our people get up in life, we'll go anywhere from there. We need that's to fact. make our people soldiers, all right? So hey, I'm going to end this by saying, okay? Always be a soldier, never be a fold. Duh. Stick to your values and commit to your values because guess what? Life what? will be so much more beautiful if you do that. So I just wanted to say that, man. Fat motherfucking G. Fat motherfucking G. Sorry, bro. That's, that's, that's horrible. Yo. Damn. Fat G out. I'm on a diet. Gonna go have some salads. Get shit done, Academy. That was just crazy. Should we do an Academy? I don't even know. What Academy should... What, what name should be our Academy? Um... The name shall be... The name shall be... Hold on. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. The name shall be... Name shall be... Oh, shit. Fuck. <laughs> the name shall be... The name shall be... Even though this is Dre's shit. 
Nah, nah, nah. I want to make my own shit. I want to make my own shit. Dude. What? Oh, be odd. Be odd university. Be odd. Build different. Be odd. No, build different. Be odd. Be odd.